Hello everyone, here's Matthias and Matthias from Tradimo and today's topic is earnings season. Yeah, earnings season. Yeah, so we are facing the earnings season. Um, I think it starts recent days, so maybe two days ago or three days ago. And yeah, we are right now into the action and in the next days we will see a lot of uh, earnings, um, Apple, Netflix, uh, Google, eBay, all the companies you already know uh, will have uh, the earnings season. And earnings are dangerous. Why they are dangerous, Matthias? Why? Yeah, because we have uh, quite high volatility. And of course, we never know what um, if, if, a, if a stock meets the expe uh, expectations or not. I mean, it can go up and down like pretty fast. And for me, if I want to have a stock and I don't have it right now, I would wait uh, for the day after the earnings because then we, we know will the trend continue or yeah, is it broken and yeah. the stock is not interesting anymore. In the past, we saw a lot of big moves in, uh, I can remember in, in Amazon, for example, or Facebook. So maybe 10, even 15 or 20 percent on, on a one single day. Is not a surprise so everything can happen and yeah we want to say be careful if you invested in such stocks just a few days before the earnings coming out then maybe it's a good idea to close the position before and yeah and get into it after it again um, and we have here a nice home page uh, where you can see the earnings who's coming out today for example it's JP Morgan and yeah, Domino's Pizza or Pizza, uh, delicious, <laughs> I can say, yeah. I can recommend it, but I'm not a shareholder of this company. Um, and as you can see here, there are the, the estimate uh, earnings per share. And yeah, tomorrow we will see if maybe this was the number we expected or not. And then of course the price goes up or down. And yeah, but one thing is here very, uh, very important sometimes a company has a kind of expectation and they overrate or overestimate than the, the expected number which is pretty good but then you will see sometimes the price fall down and this is what we call sell on good news um, and of course sometimes the opposite can can be happen if some bad news coming out then people think okay this is a good time to to jump in uh, and buy some some of these shares and you will see even they have bad numbers you will see rising prices um, have you seen this before or some experience uh, with that Matthias <laughs> yeah I had some I, I traded uh, basically I traded earnings with options so it's mm, maybe not more complicated but um, I have a defined risk because I only have the premium as a risk and I had, I think it was, I'm not sure, Genpact, uh, which is a growth stock in my opinion. Um, I had like, yeah, I don't know. I had some options on it, on them. They really, yeah, rocketed after the earnings, like mm. 15 to 20 percent, and it made me smile, but only for like 20 minutes because then <laughs> they immediately get got sold off. It was really, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't able to explain why, but as you said, sell on good news and yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> I, I collected some experience um, yeah, in the same way. So if I remember right, it, it was Under Armour. So the, the um, uh, competitor of Nike and Adidas uh, and they had a really, really nice uh, earnings report and I was happy as well. Um, but I, I couldn't believe that the, the, the price will go down again and I hold my position overnight and the, the next morning uh, the market was open and yeah, I had to realize a, a huge, a huge loss and <laughs> that was not so nice. So <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, since that time I never traded earnings again. So my last earnings trade was <laughs> maybe two years ago or one and a half year ago and um, yeah, US earnings report is four times a year so you have the chance to trade earnings every three months 
I think you, you need to also have a feeling about the overall market, like what happens in, in other stocks. Because the time when I, for example, had the, the Genpact or Genpact uh, options, uh, we had the time where nearly every new 52 week high got sold off. Mm. And yeah, basically this happened with Genpact too. So maybe I could have known it or maybe I could have been a little bit more careful with this. But yeah, I think overall market conditions are pretty important for doing earnings trades too. Mm. So our general recommendation and we don't make any recommendations as usual, but in this case, please be careful if you want to trade earnings or hold positions overnight if earnings coming out. Okay, so that's it. Thank you, Matthias. And have a nice day, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.